Space expanding, or is everything shrinking? You might think it'd be impossible to tell the difference, but think again. So our best model of the universe at large says that bound systems, gravitationally or otherwise, stay the same size, and systems that are not bound expand. Practically speaking, this means that a region of space around 4.5 million light years in radius away from us will stay gravitationally bound in our little region of space, and everything else will eventually be pulled away by the universe's expansion. But how can you tell the difference between this conclusion and the conclusion that all the matter in the universe is shrinking? After all, if our measuring devices have been shrinking, then the wavelength of light that we observe from the distant past would seem longer by comparison, right? So sure, shrinking matter explains observed redshift, which is one of the ways we know the universe is expanding, but this idea runs into a few deeper problems. If we're talking about matter itself shrinking, it should have nothing to do with distances or space-time changing. In order to match the cosmological redshift, the sources we compare to here on Earth should have their wavelengths get smaller. For example, if we observed an apparent redshift of a factor of two, then really what needs to have happened is that the wavelength of measured light here on Earth needs to have shrunk by a factor of two. So let's think about what that would mean. In order for light to have a smaller wavelength, it needs more energy. But these light sources come from atomic emissions, which means that the gap between energy levels in electrons around atoms needs to change. There are two ways that the energy gaps could change. First, the mass of the electron could go up, or the strength of electromagnetism could go up. In both cases, the atom itself shrinks in size. If the electron gets more massive, the size of the atom decreases without changing its electric dipole moment which means molecules would have bigger gaps between atoms without strengthening the bonds. So we would expect to see molecular structure get weaker over time, but we don't see that, so it can't be that. Alternatively, if electromagnetism gets stronger, atoms, molecules, and everything held together under electromagnetism gets smaller. In that case, we would expect that, for example, two basketballs which were originally touching would just slowly get further from each other as they both shrink about their centers of mass. This would mean that we should see gravitationally bound things get bigger, not stay the same size. But we don't see that either. Now I'm sure someone could come up with some alternative that gets around these falsifications, but we have a much simpler model, that the universe expands. So why overcomplicate things? 